Floor 7 being one of the most popular dungeons has been out for many months now. However, to this day, people still aren't 100% sure on how some mobs' damage behaves in certain situations. Many people will tell you that skeleton masters do true damage, while others will tell you that they do percentage damage, and this goes for a range of other mobs as well. So that's where this video comes in. After long last, it's time to run some proper tests, crunch the numbers, and really pick out whether or not these mobs do true damage. But before we do get to testing, if you have any further questions or comments about this video, feel free to stop by over on my Twitch streams. I stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The links are down in the description below. But with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Alrighty, so as you can see, today's video is going to be focused on true damage, whether true damage exists, if it's even a problem inside of dungeons. I'm going to be running a lot of tests that will be testing whether mobs do true damage or a thing called percentage damage, and a couple of other interesting things that I want to get into today's video. So today's video is going to be heavily oriented around testing and running a lot of tests inside of dungeons. But before we do hop into the dungeons, I want to talk a little bit about myself in case you are new to this channel. Just to give you some background on how I've played this game and my knowledge and understanding of how mobs behave inside of dungeons. So to get things started, I am Catacombs31 and I have a lot of Necron runs if I show you guys with my collections here, with 166 in total. Now I have dropped a Recombobulated with a chest player and a Necron's handle as my only RNG drops with these Necron runs. But my point is, is I feel like it's safe to say that I do have some experience, I am somewhat knowledgeable with these sort of topics. And when I was running dungeons more consistently, I did know a lot of things that some other people didn't really know. Now, another really important thing that I think I should mention here is that when I did actually run dungeons, this was the setup that I was using. I have four burn meringues right here. They are all power six with infinite quiver 10 overload three. I put hot potato books on them. I put the spiritual reforge on them, but I haven't got recombobulators and I haven't got higher level overload. I did run this three quarters Necron and Tarantula helmet set up with fuming hot potato books and recombobulated pieces, all using the ancient reforge as well. But what really seals the deal that I want to mention in today's video is that I was running a baby yeti and I always run a baby yeti when I am running floor sevens as I find that I need the extra EHP a lot more than I would have expected. So I do find a lot harder to use pets like the Wither Skeleton pet, which I have tried and I have tried using this, but it will get to why this wasn't as great as the baby yeti later on in the video and it will help me prove a lot of my points. Alrighty, so I've gone ahead and hopped into a floor six dungeon run and I have cleaned out this entire room room and got a skeleton master just chilling below me as you can see trying to take me out here but the first thing that I want to do is test how skeleton master damage behaves and the way that I'm going to do this is as follows so as you can see in my wardrobe I have a lot of armor sets in here now I have my main armor set which is my necron and tarantula helmet but I've also got a fully maxed out shadow assassin set here which is fragged and five starred I've also got a mastiff set which gives you the most hp in the game possible or at least the one that I'm aware of. And then I've got a regular undungeonized superior set here, which has some pretty decent stats outside of dungeons, but I also want to show you guys a couple of things with this armor set inside of dungeons. Now, I'm going to be doing this with no pets whatsoever, but I might decide to swap to my baby Eddie to show you guys a couple of things later on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away my bone plating, as the archer class does give you a little shield, and you can see that it's currently circling me. It's this little bone meal that's floating around. And once that has gone away and is no longer protecting me, I'm going to jump down and get hit by the skeleton master, and I'll show you guys how much damage it deals. And then I'm going to repeat the exact same steps with all the other armor sets to decipher whether or not it does true damage, whether or not it does a certain amount of damage or whether it's percentage damage so you guys have a better understanding on how it works. Alright, so I have taken off my bone plating right here. I'm going to get hit by the Skeleton Master by that initial arrow. And then it shoots another arrow, as you can see. My bone plating did just get reduced there, but if you saw that very closely, I will try and slow down the footage as a little replay for you guys. But it did shoot out a Wither Skeleton Skull. And after those initial three arrows that did actually hit me, the Wither Skeleton Skull did a significantly higher amount of damage. And if I'm not mistaken, it does around seven hearts of damage, which we can actually test once again if I just drop down here. That's a third arrow. And then the final shot, there's the Wither Skeleton Skull. It did around seven hearts of damage with the Wither Skeleton Skull ability, which means that if we got hit by three of those Wither Skeleton Skulls, it would take me out wearing my full Necron armor. 
So now in order to debug whether or not this is just how good my armor is and to sort of test out different defenses and stuff like that, I'm going to wear my full Shadow Assassin set, which if you guys notice just down the bottom there, I get 1,824 defense wearing it, while I get 2,400 defense in Necron. And then my Necron armor gives me 5,700 HP, while the Shadow Assassin only gives me 5,300. So this armor set is definitely a lot worse. Now I have my bone plating activated once again, so I'm just going to drop down here and let the Skeleton Master hit me. And as you can see right there, that Wither Skeleton Skull actually bypassed the bone plating completely, and it did the exact same roughly seven hearts to six and a half hearts of damage. And I can do the exact same thing once again, get hit by the Skeleton Master wearing my full Shadow Assassin. It should shoot out a normal arrow, which did just get rid of the bone plating. It shoots out a couple of normal arrows again. There's another arrow, and then it shoots that Wither Skeleton Skull, and the Wither Skeleton Skull is the ability that does the percentage damage, and this cannot be true damage. Now to prove to you guys that this is not true damage, I'm going to switch over to my Mastiff set, which as you can see, I get 20,000 HP wearing it. Now being able to regenerate all this HP is going to take a little while, so I'm going to go ahead, throw my Mana Flux down here, and just let it do its thing. And now that we have completed that, I now have 22,000 health, but I have like minus 4 million defense, as the Mastiff armor does get rid of a lot of defense when you wear it. So if the Skeleton Master does true damage, then it shouldn't be dealing almost any damage whatsoever, as I've got so much health to defend myself. But if it does percentage damage, it should do the exact same amount of damage as we did take with the Necron armor and the Shadow Assassin armor. So with that being said, let's just drop down once again on the Skeleton Master. And right there, as you can see, that arrow did the exact same, roughly six to seven hearts of damage. I will just do that once again, dropping down to see if I can replicate the exact same amount of damage there. It did a lot lot more once again having defense is very important as you can see as having normal hp does get shredded completely but just for good measure i'm going to drop down once again with full hp to see if we can get the exact same damage there it did do about seven hearts there it did do another ability that does a lot of damage once again taking us out and doing a lot of damage in mastiff as mastiff doesn't have any defense the arrows that do actually hit you do a lot of damage so I'm going to go and swap back to my Necron armor once again, which does have a lot more defense, but a significantly lower amount of health. And hopefully this has explained how the Skeleton Masters do damage to you on floor 6. However, just before we go ahead and swap to another dungeon to show you guys some other testing, I also want to talk about another feature of the Skeleton Master mob in general that I have noticed with a lot of other testing that I've done in the past. Now, I've swapped over to this superior set, which like I said, is not dungeonized and just has regular stats on it. And I want to show you guys how the Skeleton Master actually does damage to you in a non-dungeonized armor set, but an armor set that won't get you insta-killed because what I've managed to figure out is that these mobs have sort of like a base damage that they tend to deal to you. And once they do reach that base damage, they sort of cap at around 25% on floor 5. I'm not sure what the specifics are on floor 6, but I do know for a fact that on floor 7, the Skeleton Master cannot do more than 75% damage of your health. And I will run some quick tests in this video to prove that later on. But if I drop down on the Skeleton Master once again, just to show you how the damage behaves, I might end up dying here, which is... That's not what I was trying to do. So if I hang over the edge of this little platform once again to get hit by the Skeleton Master, there is a chance that it might actually just end up killing me if it shoots more than one attack at a time. But if I go ahead and just get hit by the Skeleton Master once here, not by the normal arrow, but by that Wither Skeleton Skull, as you can see, it almost killed us in one shot, leaving me down to one heart of health. Which does suggest that the Skeleton Master has a base damage system put in place, which means that if you are naked or you have really bad gear, you will get one shot depending on what you're wearing. But if you swap over to a armor set that has enough health and defense to withstand it, like the Necron set or like my Shadow Assassin set, then you shouldn't get taken out, and rather it will do in between 25 to 50% of your HP. I sort of estimate this to be about 33%, because it does take around three hits to get insta-killed by them. But if I heal up to full once again in my Necron armor set, drop down on the Skeleton Master and get hit by that Wither Skeleton Skull, it did do around four hearts of damage that time. Sometimes it does a little bit less, 
sometimes it does a little bit more but usually it stays around that six hearts of damage on floor six which is roughly around 33 percent now i've just hopped into a floor seven run to quickly show you guys some other tests that i want to do just very briefly here but because i am in floor seven the skeleton master mob will do more damage than it does on floor six and i've actually got one very conveniently just chilling underneath here but if i peek over the edge and it hits it with the wither skeleton attack as you can see it did more than half of my hp but rather around 75 percent sometimes it gets you down to five hearts sometimes it gets you down to about seven hearts i'm not sure why it's super inconsistent but if i can just prove it once again by just healing up to full with my ornate sword and i will also use my shadow assassin armor to give you guys some other numbers you can see that if i peek it once again get hit by the wither skeleton of skull right there it did the exact same amount of damage as i have in shadow assassin than necron armor with about a one heart to half a heart discrepancy as it does seem to be inconsistent and i'm not really sure why the cause of this is so as you guys saw from those brief dungeon tests the skeleton master mob does behave in a very interesting way unless i did something completely wrong with my testing i don't believe they do any true damage at all but rather a very interesting type of damage which i like to call percentage damage because it seems to take a percentage of your health depending on what floor you play on in case you have no idea what just happened in those brief damage tests there on floor six the skeleton master did around 33 percent of my hp which means that if i got hit by it three times it would have either killed me or gotten me very very weak to get taken out a fourth time and this was only with the wither skeleton skull ability not with the regular arrows as the regular arrows are a normal attack and do get blocked by having normal ehp i was also able to properly test this by using not just my necron armor but my shadow assassin armor and a mastiff set as well and the mastiff set actually performed a lot worse than the other two which is sort of expected as it doesn't have any defense at all the regular arrow did do a lot of damage too so having just normal hp and no defense at all is actually worse to take out a skeleton master as the regular attack will do a lot more damage to you and the one that does do the percentage damage also does the same amount of damage to you if you don't have any defense to block the arrow now there is a couple of other things that i want to talk about in today's video which i unfortunately won't be able to test as it would be very very difficult to do so being able to isolate necron himself and not have teammates taking him out not have wither miners in the way and a bunch of other factors would be very difficult but hopefully i can speak from experience here and give you guys my thoughts on how necron actually works how his damage behaves in this game and i also want to talk about some other instances of true damage to sort of round things up a little bit better so like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I use my baby Yeti in all of my dungeon runs ever because I've found it super, super useful for me as I run a strength-based build being Archer. Now, if Necron and a lot of the other mobs in the boss room actually dealt true damage, this would mean that my Yeti pet is completely useless and wouldn't help me whatsoever. However, like I said, I have played a lot of runs and I have tried out many different pets. I have used the Wither Skeleton pet to get a little bit more damage. I have used a Blue Whale to see if having more normal HP does help me out over the EHP. And of course, I was using my Baby Yeti and I have used my Baby Yeti for the majority of the runs. But why would I have used my Baby Yeti for all of these runs? Another thing that I want to mention is that I do normally use this Bonzo's Mask when I am in the boss room of Necron. As having that extra life is very useful and I have found myself getting into... To sticky situations before and the bonzo mask has definitely saved my life a couple of times because it has gotten very difficult in some situations However, one thing that I have noticed after my somewhat extensive testing just playing the game is that when I was using my Wither Skeleton pet, when I was using the Blue Whale and just using other pets that weren't a Baby Yeti, I found myself having to proc the Bonzo Mask ability a significantly higher amount of times than when I was just using the Baby Yeti, which does suggest that having normal HP over EHP does not benefit you in the boss fight at all. And if EHP does benefit you and normal HP isn't necessary, then this means that the mobs in the boss room cannot possibly be doing good amounts of true damage as they are definitely not strong enough to be proccing my bonzo mask as frequently with the baby yeti pants now of course i'm not saying that there is no true damage whatsoever on floor seven i'm just saying that there is very negligible amounts of it and it's sort of a topic that a lot of people get mixed up all the time and they just don't really realize that true damage isn't that big of a deal the mobs with the stormy modifier do actually do true damage with their lightning attacks and they do do a decent amount of damage nothing too crazy but it's not amount of true damage that is enough to be able to take you out very easily and usually you could take out those stormy mobs very very quickly 
Necron in his fourth phase also does true damage with the Frenzy ability. Now, I'm just assuming that it's true damage because it does so much damage that it basically takes you out in two hits. But there is a chance that Necron's Frenzy doesn't even do true damage, but it does percentage damage as well. Because I have consistently found myself, whenever I do die to his Frenzy attack, it always takes three hits no matter what. And when I mean three hits, I mean it takes two hits to proc my Bonzo, and then it will insta-kill me after my Bonzo has procced. So either there's some weird percentage damage going on in there, which I can't really test in today's video, or there is true damage there, and the true damage is just so high that it will destroy you no matter what. So all in all, what do we learn from today's video? Well, at least for me, I've noticed that true damage is pretty much a hoax, to put it really bluntly. And as you guys saw with that test on the Skeleton Master being one of the most common mobs in the game, unless I did something completely wrong with my test, there is no way that mob does true damage and I feel like it's a very misinterpreted damage stat that people just haven't looked at and with all of that being said hopefully you all did enjoy this video if you did find it useful or informative in some way please do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel as I make Hypixel Skyblock videos every Wednesdays and Fridays but with all that out of the way hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and as always take care and peace. What the hell? Bro, it's like a erection out of the ground. It's purple and everything. Reminds me of Thanos. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs>